set up your AI bot. It's going to be real quick. It's going to be real easy. Now, first things first is you have to have an open AI account. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, show you guys what that looks like, but you're going to want to have an actual open AI account, not a chat GPT account. So when you go to openai.com, you'll click here, log in or create an account. Then you're going to click on the API. You have to, and I mean, you have to have a card attached or money on the account it has to be funded. Otherwise, it's just not going to work properly. Once you have that, you'll see you'll have API keys and so forth, and then you'll be able to create an assistant as well. Now, I have a video on tips on creating your AI assistant. If you're watching this inside our platform on the launch pad, I'll put the video next to this one. Maybe you want to pause it and go set that up because you'll need it to finish it. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can pause this, go down a few videos, and you'll see I recently uploaded it within the last couple of weeks. Uploaded it within the last couple of weeks. You need to have an assistant set up. Your next step is to go back into Consolidate it, and you're going to want to add your sources. So first step is add Go High Level as a source. You'll see over here, sources, add source, boom, add your Go High Level account. And make sure that you click edit and actually select the accounts you want to bring in. Otherwise, you won't be able to find them. So select the accounts you want, hit update, bada bing, bada boom, you are set. Next, you go to Dash Hub and you'll see open AI chat automation. You're going to click on add automation. You'll click your go high level account. You'll choose whichever a uh, sub account that you want to tie to an assistant. Please ignore tags, don't use it at all. That's going away because we have a better way to accomplish what we were trying to do. It'll release over the next week. You'll choose a calendar if that account has a calendar. This account doesn't have a calendar. Then you'll type in your OpenAI API key and then you'll use your assistant ID and your assistant ID can be found right here. So this is the assistant ID. Your API key is over here. You'll create one and then you'll copy that and you'll paste that and you'll put that in and you will be rocking and rolling. Then you hit save and now your bot is built. Now we just need to do one more thing inside of Go High Level. You will go to that sub account and you will put create workflow. The workflow is going to be like this in the settings you will allow for re-entry. That is key. Go back to the builder and the trigger is when a customer replied and then you just hit save. Then you're going to put in a webhook and the webhook is going to be the, the webhook URL right here. You're going to take that webhook. You will paste that into here. You don't need any custom data and you hit save action. So some bots like Zappy Chat, et cetera, they make you use these extensive workflows. Ours is simple. You don't need to do that. We do the work for you on your end already. Now what you're going to do is test your bot. Make sure it's working. And you can do this simply by going into settings, going to phone numbers, taking whatever your phone number is, and send yourself a text. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm just going to send myself a text. That text message is going to say um, whatever. Uh, hey, I need a repair. So I'm going to go ahead and send myself a text. And while we're waiting for it, I want to show you something. Because sometimes people will say, hey, uh, question, I'm sending this and I'm not getting a text back. I'm not seeing any data come back. It's just not seeming to work for me. So you can see it just popped back for me right here. Um, what you're going to want to do in that instance is make sure that you have no other workflows running that would try to reply to it. If you have any SMS replies or anything like that, an easy way to figure that out is if you click on the contact for yourself. So like right over here, I can see I just came through. You can see, hey, Ross, how can I assist you today? You can see that the, the bot came through. Then what I can do is over here under my campaign workflows, I can see is there a campaign or is there a workflow that this is in that is affecting it? Because you do need all of your automations for replying to an SMS turned off because otherwise it's going to conflict with it. If that is all set, then you should be good. The only thing that it's not going to reply on just yet is live chat, but that is coming. 
We will have that fixed very soon. Now, you may wonder, well, how about the booking? Uh, how do I get it where it, I can set up a, an appointment? You don't really have to because when you attached your calendar, we have it set up that your, uh, your bot will automatically detect when it is time to book up an appointment. And it will just, it'll go in, it'll check the most, uh, the newest times coming up. And then what it'll do is uh, offer those times. Look, for instance, I just said I want an appointment and it comes back and it gives me some uh, some options. And then I can say, no, actually that won't work. Will Friday work? And it'll go pull Friday options and it'll give some options. And then it'll actually go into your go high level and book that appointment for you. So it just detects when the conversation's ready for an appointment, just like a human would. And then says, here's some times, here's some appointments. We're trying to make this where you don't have a lot of setup. It's easy just to duplicate because now as you're closing clients, you can either use their open AI API key or you can use your own and you can just clone the assistant, clone the snapshot, bada bing, bada boom, you are set up, you are done. So hopefully this has all made really good sense for you guys. Um, it's that easy to set up. It's that quick. You guys have an awesome day.